Okay, now there are multiple different scenarios where you might want to back up your phone and restore the data on the device. One scenario could be factory resetting your phone, completely erasing all the data from your device for a regular maintenance. I actually do factory reset the phone at least once a year or once in one and a half to two years so that my phone keeps running smoothly. That is the first scenario. In the second scenario, you might want to install the beta version of the operating system. You may want to flash your device and install it. For example, I upgraded my S24 Ultra from one 6.1 to 1UI 7 beta version. Since it was not officially available, I had to sideload it on the device and now I have downgraded it from 1UI 7 to 1UI 6. And while we do this, we might want to take a complete backup of the device. That is the second scenario. And in the third scenario or situation, you might be changing your phone. You may be upgrading it to a new device. And before you switch, you might want to take a complete backup of all the data that you have on your phone. And there could be multiple other scenarios or situations where you want to take a backup. And we all know that there are multiple ways to backup the data. But in this video, I will show you guys two simplest ways to backup and restore your data on any of the Android devices. Now, generally what people do is they try to plug in the cable and connect it to a PC and then transfer all the important files, images, videos, and everything to the PC and then transfer all of them back on the device. That is a little time consuming and a bit irritating process because in the My Files application or in gallery, you will have to pick all those images, videos, and sort it out and then copy and paste it and then uh, get it back on the device. Now, instead, there are two simple ways. One is the cloud backup. And the second one is, and the second way is to perform the backup and restore using an external hard disk or a USB pen drive. So let's go ahead and take a look at these two options. The first one is of course the cloud storage, which some of you as Samsung Galaxy phone users would already know. I'm not sure whether the other Android phones are offering this feature or not. Let me just show you that. Let's go to the settings. I will tap on general management. Here, when I tap on reset, you can see we have temporary cloud backup option. Backup unlimited data to Samsung Cloud for up to 30 days or restore data you have backed up. So what this means is the complete phone's data backup can be taken and stored on the Samsung Cloud for up to 30 days. No matter what is the size of the data that you have on the device, you can completely back up on the cloud, on Samsung Cloud and restore it. Let me tap on this. It says backup unlimited data to Samsung Cloud for up to 30 days or restore data you have backed up. All you need to do is tap on backup and here it will search for the data to backup and then you can choose the one that you want to backup. As you can see, it has selected nine. 15.61 uh, GB. Now this is very less because I have already formatted my phone and taken the backup on this hard drive. I'm going to come to that in a bit. Uh, we have got 15 GB here. It will backup calls and contacts, messages, applications, home screen, secure folder, settings and permissions, images, videos, audio and documents and files. It is not showing up here because there is nothing available on the phone. It says no data to backup. So you can also back up the documents and files. So everything can be backed up on Samsung Cloud, which is just insane. And thanks to Samsung for offering this particular feature. Now, all you need to do is tap on backup. Everything will be available on Samsung Cloud. And when you have the new device or after formatting this device, you can come back here and you will be able to restore it from this menu option itself. You can see we have this restore data option. If you have already backed it up, you will get this restore data because this data is available on the cloud. It will find the uh, data and then it will show you this option restore data. Now this process is also gonna take a long time because all this data will have to be uploaded to cloud. So it may take a couple of hours. Now, the simplest and the best way to back up your data is by using a hard disk, an external hard disk or a USB drive. If you have a pen drive, you can use that as well. As you can see, this is the pen drive that I've got. And I also have this OTG connector here. You can use this. This has come uh, uh, inside Samsung's phone box uh, sometime back. But now you may be able to find it on Amazon if you don't have it with you. So use this, connect the pen drive here, and then you can connect this to the phone. Or if you have a hard disk, you can use that as well. Let me show you that. I've got the sand disk here. This is a 2TB sand disk that I've got. And uh, using this, I will be able to back up the data from Samsung phone or any other Android phone right here on this external hard drive. Now let's go ahead. I will connect this uh, to the phone. I got this cable here. I will connect the phone. Now I have already backed up the data on this drive. Let me first show you how did I back it up. Let's go to settings here. Uh, we are on general management and now we can tap on reset. And right here on this menu, we have got 
external storage backup. It says back up the data to a USB storage device or SD card, restore later on this device or another device using smart switch. Let me tap on this. Now here you see we have got backup to this particular uh, USB storage or you can restore from this particular storage. Now if you want to back up, all you need to do is tap on backup. Again here it is going to pick up all the data from uh, the phone and it will pop right here as you can see it says everything just calls contacts and messages and you can also customize this when you tap on customize and tap on next you'll be able to select specific items here you can select applications messages calls uh, settings home image uh, and everything videos and audio tap on backup it will start backing up uh, the data right here on this device now since i've already backed up what i can do is i can show you how to restore it once you have connected the device, it will automatically find the backup here. You see it says USB storage on 12 December 2024 at 1.46 p.m. I have backed up 42.13 GB of data from the S24 Ultra. I can tap on this icon to check it in detail. Now what I'll do is I will tap on this. Again here we can select the data that we want to restore. And by default everything is selected. And it says 33 minutes it's going to take to restore 42.16 GB of data but I don't think it's going to take so much of time. So let's go ahead and tap on next. You see it says 34 minutes. Now messages are done. Galaxy variable data it is backing up now. Already it has gone to 33 minutes. 2.2% is done. Right now it is 4.31 pm. I'm going to tell you how long it's going to take to restore 40 GB of data from the drive here. Keep watching the video. Here we go, it just took about less than 5 minutes to restore close to about 50 GB of data from this disk, from this uh, hard drive onto the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now of course this depends on the read and write speed, this particular hard disk, the SSD offers close to about 1000 Mbps speed. So maybe because of that it was quite fast but if you were to do the same thing on a pen drive which has got slow writing speeds or reading speeds then it might take longer time. But uh, if you have a good USB storage, a fast USB storage, it is going to take about 5 to 10 minutes for a 50 GB data and for about 200 to 300 GB data it might take about uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes. So that is quite fast indeed. Now if I go home, let me tap on go to the home screen and if I tap on gallery I have got all those images, videos and everything is back and uh, we have got all the settings, the phone settings, the messages, the call log and everything will be back here on the phone and this is kind of funny you can also see this on the home screen there are so many widgets uh, background which are showing up here because these widgets I had uh, set up from the One UI 7.0 because I had upgraded uh, this phone to One UI 7.0 by uh, side loading the operating system all that backup was taken on SSD and since I have restored it it is showing me this background and there are no widgets available because those are not available on One UI 6.1 let me just tap on this and see what happens uh, yeah I will have to remove these widget backgrounds and I'll have to set up the new backgrounds and you won't believe I had uh, set up a multiple different new widgets from One UI 7 on my home screen all the backup is available here but the widgets are gone you can see all these are showing up here I wanted to make a video on all the new widgets that we, that we have got but now since I downgraded to One UI 6.1 to get the official version of One UI 7 which is coming probably on 15th or 16th of this month in India I had to downgrade my phone to One UI 6.1 so all these backup are also available the home screen the home launcher backup itself is available here on the drive so that was a stored and that is when I got all these applications and everything back here and I'm sure all the phone settings also have been restored. This is the best way to back up your data in case if you're factory resetting your phone for any purposes do go ahead and check this out try this out if you don't have a hard disk go for a pen drive and uh, back it up on the pen drive and then you can restore it and you will be able to get all the data all the settings including the home launcher settings and everything will be restored on the device. That is all I wanted to share with you guys. For more tips and tricks, do subscribe to the channel. You get to learn a lot on the channel about your Android phone. And do hit that like button if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.